When I tell you there's an enormous amount of need for mental health services, I'm putting it very lightly. I find that my role as a rabbi is to be there for people at every single moment of their lives. That includes sunrise and sunset. There's a comfort level for people to come to us because they know they can trust us. I would say about 90% of the people that we come in contact with, they reach out to us for counseling, they reach out to us for resources. I did not know how big a responsibility I have as a rabbi to be there for people with needs that exceed what I've been trained to deal with. Reverend Q English and Rabbi Amichai Laulavi were among the 1,000 faith leaders that participated in Thrive NYC's Weekend of Faith. The Weekend of Faith is not only the mechanism by which we work with faith leaders to be able to engage and be able to destigmatize the issue of mental health, but also a way that we can get information and services down to the community. I grew up in a household where the stigma was extremely present. And we don't have to be ashamed because mental illness is not who we are. It is what we're suffering with, and we can get help for that suffering. We are everybody friendly, so Jewish, not Jewish, everyone's welcome. And we create spiritual and artistic experiences for people to simply wake up every morning with a bigger sense of purpose. When we bring our kids together, we create a safe space for them to talk about issues. Whenever there's something wrong with me, she, she lets me talk to her, and I feel like I'm safe with her. Every single one of you in the group was sharing about how much this is needed. Sometimes your parents can't help you with everything. They, they try to help you with the stuff that they can, but sometimes you need to go to somebody else who knows so you like feel more open. We have a lot of people that just come right off of the street, and especially on the Tuesday, the, when the kids are here for the Tuesday program, so it's like an outreach community to reach out to the community and say, we're here for you, we're open. Just, you know, come on in and come as you are. If I'm going through something, it's like it's, it feels good to talk about it and not hold it in because I have a problem holding stuff in. I'm hoping to engage my community to be part of a bigger urban and national front that takes mental health seriously, not as a problem, but as a human reality that we can do something about. Last year, we had over 1,000 houses of worship that signed up to receive a toolkit. We are hoping to let people know that this toolbox exists and that even more importantly, that we care. This year, we have over 2,000 houses of worship that are participating. Last year, our focus was to destigmatize mental health, and this year is substance misuse. Thrive New York City is here to help you recover. There is help, there is hope.